Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League 2 Predictions. Um, you know, a few results uh, previous weekend just gone, going slightly against the odds. A few results that I was not expecting. Um, but guys, anyway, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Bradford versus Swindon Town. Bradford won all away at Scunthorpe. See, even that result is probably more expecting on the Bradford point of view. Um, Swindon Town, on the other hand, loses 2 0 at home to Newport County. Yeah, probably just slightly expected. Obviously, you know what I think of Newport. Um, you know, it's one of them things where I think both teams had a dodgy week. And not the only team, um, trust me. But, you know, as I said, we do it as we go across the results. Um, but on the Bradford end, I'll probably be more slightly disappointed because no disrespect to Scunthorpe. You know, what you Bradford fans, been, uh, Bradford City fans, been saying about your club. I'm expecting a bit more of you now, and this is what I mean by you leave your comments, you can change my expectations. Um, Swindon Town, on the other hand, probably, you know, slightly, I'll probably expect to at least one goal on the Swindon Town point of view. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 2 1 Swindon Town win. My next one is Cambridge United versus Macclesfield Town. Cambridge won all away to Stevenage. Macclesfield won all at home to Colchester. Very good point for Macclesfield. Um, obviously uh, prepared to where um, Macclesfield is. And obviously where Colchester is. So point of piece, probably a fair result. Cambridge won all at Stevenage. Yeah, probably a bit expected overall. Um, you know, Cambridge are doing okay with season as far as I'm concerned. They're upsetting the odd team and, you know, that's the way this season's been working out in League 2. It is, you know, you can't actually take a result for granted in this league. This, these two bottom leagues are out of League 1 to this as well. They're coming a bit like the Championship. They're coming so unpredictable um, week in, week out. Uh, so, could it be possibly three divisions? Um, that's like you know, really hard to get out of. It's certainly looking that way at this early stage. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 3-0 Cambridge win. My next one is Colchester versus Stevenage. Stevenage won all at, Ca uh, at Climes Cambridge, just literally mentioned them. Colchester won all at home away from home against Matt, uh, Macclesfield. Um, while we're on the verge of Stevenage, I have got a new series up on my channel now. It's called Road to the Premier of Stevenage. Um, before you start, you know, asking why, I did it because where they are in the table. Um, bottom of the league, when I started, um, you know, I want to actually take a team from the lowest division that you can, which on FIFA it's uh, League 2. Um, that's why I choose Stevenage to have bottom of the league. And I wanted to see if I could get them to the Premier League, maybe even the Champions League. Depends what time we got left. Um, you know, once, it, once or if I get them up to the Premier League. Um, but I'm enjoying it, so do feel free to go check out that uh, series. Or episode after this, after watching this video, um, but Stevenage, yeah, probably a good point um, at home to Cambridge. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a three-one Colchester win. My next one is Crew Alexander versus Exeter. Crew Alexander won all at Cheltenham Town. The top of the table clash there, and this is another one. Uh, Crew Alexander versus Exeter. Exeter losing three one at home to Grimsby. This one and the office for Exeter. Um, obviously looking to get back on the winning ways this weekend. 
But, you know, with that Cheltenham Town result, it probably was, you know, a fair result. Uh, as I said, top of the cable clash, and so is this one. But as far as this one goes, I've gone for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Forest Green versus Crawley Town. Forest Green beating Salford 4 0 away from home. Um, Crawley losing 3 2 at home to Walsall. Bad that the office for Crawley Town. Um, Forest Green had a field day um, at Salford. I have seen the video where the Salford City fans were, looked like they were leaving half hour in 3 0 down. Um, but, you know, it, they can leave if they want to, you know, as fans, we're not, you know, forced to stay at stadiums if we don't want to. Um, but, you know, great three points for us, uh, Forest Green. But do I think they keep it this week running? And that is, yes. I've gone for a 2-1 Forest Green win. My next one is Grimsby Town versus Mansfield. Mansfield losing 1 0 at home to Plymouth for a goal. Um, Grimsby beating Exeter 3 1 away from home. Great three points for Grimsby. Uh, probably won't go in there expecting that, but uh, yeah, if you're a Grimsby Town fan, please tell me how you feel about that result down in the comments below. Um, but, you know, with Mansfield, you're. See, I'll, I just I told you I would do my predictions and it's a bit hard because of where Mansfield are on the table with you know this one needs your help as well. How do you feel about you know one nil defeat away to Plymouth Argyle and I know Plymouth Argyle are near the top um you know in that bracket but as far as this one goes, I've gone for a 2 0 Grimsby Town win for that one. My next one is Newport versus Carlisle. Newport 2 0 winners away at Swindon Town. Carlisle beating Oldham 1 0 at home. Great three points for both clubs. Um, Carlisle probably a bit, a bit more expected than. Um, the Newport result, <laughs> but you still got to go around and do the job. Uh, pretty much said what I want to sound both of them, so I'm just going to give you the result and I'll go for a 3 1 win for that one. My next one is Northampton Town versus Lake Norian. Lake Norian 3 3 at home to Port Vale, great point for Lake Norian. Northampton Town 2-2 two -two away to Morecambe. Great point of peace. Um, but I probably expect a little bit more of Northampton Town. Turned out not to be. Um, as I said, great point for Lake Norian. Um, I ain't going to dwell on it too much. I'm just going to give you the result for this game as well. And I'll go for a 2 0 Northampton Town win. My next one is Oldham Athletic versus Cheltenham. Just as you mentioned, Oldham not that long ago, losing 1 0 away to Carlisle. Cheltenham Town 1 0 at home to Crew Alexander. Great point for Cheltenham, as I said on the Crew Alexander end as well. Top of the table clash. Um, but Oldham, you know, down there near the bottom. Um, but, you know, you have to go week by week with these, and that's what I try and do. Um, try not to read too much into the results that's happened in the previous weekend. You see it in all divisions. One game that stands out in my mind, and sorry, I'm just drifting away from the two for a bit here, is the uh, Man City Norwich game this season, my Norwich beat Man City. So, you know, as I said, I try not to read too much into the results. 
Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3 1 Cheltenham win. My next one is Plymouth Argyle versus Scunthorpe. Scunthorpe 1 0 at home to Bradford. Plymouth Argyle beat Mansfield 1 0 away from home. Great point for Scunthorpe. Uh, I think I put Bradford down to win that one. Um, but, you know, take. Take a point better than nothing, so if I was a scumful fan and where scumful part, I'd probably be happy at that point. Who knows, that could be the point that could keep you up, um, you know, near the end of the season. Um, you know, great result for Plymouth Argyle, great three points, probably expected. So, yeah, again, I'm just going to give you the result for this one, and I'll go for a 2 0 Plymouth Argyle win. My next one is Port Vale versus Morecambe. Morecambe 2 2 at home to Northampton Town. Port Vale 3 um, 3 at, away from home against St. Orion. Great point uh, piece. Sorry. I oh, know I just made you yawn as well, haven't I? Um, but I'll go for the 2 2 scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Walsall versus um, Salford City. Um, Salford losing 4 0 at home against Forest Green. Um, Walsall beating Crawley away from home 3 2. Great three points for Walsall. Salford City, less to do so. Um, but I'll go for a 3 2 scoreline for Walsall in that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. And ciao for now.